So you guys want more Trappist, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you guys liked it. I do too. Uh, and against my better judgment, because uh, I've got too many projects going on at once again. But I really want to play it. So we're going to play it some more. So I'm here at Outland. I've added a couple of things. I bit the bullet and added another habitat so we could have more people. And then I've got uh, two iron mines here, two ice grinders, two ice smelters, and uh, an iron smelter. And all this stuff's working now so that we are now generating steel at this base. Okay? Gonna be really great. Now, there's a downside here. They are actually going through health drinks quite fast. Um, yeah faster than I can replenish these because I don't have many health drinks. I don't have hardly any health drinks actually. Uh, so I don't know what happens when they lose it, but uh, hopefully they don't die. So Haven, I, uh, I want to expand this a bit more today. I'd like to really get going on silicon a bit, a bit better. And uh, I'd like to give it some more population if I could. So that's going to get it over the 60 mark that it wanted to be. I think I would really like to add another wind turbine for power and hang on great with more colonists we can build and support more advanced buildings keep in mind that colonists living in larger colonies demand more varied resources oh good <laughs> oh good <laughs> all right uh what do you what do you demand now okay so you're demanding oxygen okay now i have to provide o oh great i have to provide oxygen here I didn't have to do that before. Uh, water consumption. Yes. Food, potatoes. Yes. Cool. Uh, they don't have the health drinks. We still need to do that. But now they're complaining that they don't have soy calf and bread. <laughs> oh, joy. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll have to try to figure that out too. But uh, and we have new buildings down. There it is right there. Computer chip. Okay. I was wondering about this because... I just used my last computer chip to make that habitat back there. And I really, really need, uh, yeah, I need, I need that. Um, so let's add the population here. I'm going to see if I can just drain that. There we go. Uh, there's steel here. Uh, I have the silicon. Let's drain that some more. And then I wanted to add steel to this camp here. I need to get steel here. So tell you what I'll do. I'm going to lift off. Let's take a few potatoes. Take a little bit of the water too although i'm i am noticing that this water should be full and it's not so now i'm wondering if maybe oh, i can't take the water because because i'm taking potatoes yeah, yeah i can't take the water uh it's fine we'll take the potatoes anyway uh we're gonna lift that off i'm gonna bring you down here like this and uh we are gonna go take this ship back to the ark which is of course all the way over here uh and drop it off Now, the Ark doesn't have any spare people on it. But I don't think that matters. Oh, hey, what's this? We found an underground oil reservoir at a second site on the desert planet. Oil will be very useful for energy and plastics. Yes, it will. But you know what? I also noticed something else. So over here on this base, right? Obviously, they want health drinks. And I'm, I'm they're going down really fast. I only have five left here. Uh, what I noticed is that in resources the algae farm creates health drinks it takes two water and two crude oil if you didn't know a very healthy drink um all you have to do is add water and uh and crude oil together and you get a very healthy drink <laughs> uh, apparently that's it uh so that's a thing but th the thing is uh i don't know where crude oil is now apparently i know where crude oil is so now we can probably do this so i need to uh to work on that too but anyway at the arc they could be consuming these health drinks, right? But they're not. And I think they're not because there's nobody awake on the Ark, <laughs> which is perfect. So let's keep them sleeping. And that way they don't consume anything. We don't want to wake them up too early. And then we're going to send this ship back to Outland so it can drop off the health drinks. There's only five left. But I think after we drop off the health drinks and they deplete the supply of health drinks that are here, I think I'm going to have to pull these guys out of this base. Which isn't what I wanted to do, but I might have to. Um, so building solar panels is just the silicon. So I'm going to add a few more 
Let's just go this way with it. I'm going to add a few more solar over here because we're going to eventually use that power for other things. And I just want to have it here all ready to go. I'll, I'll just go one more. Okay. So hopefully this doesn't trigger anyone. <laughs> it might. All right. So with seven health drinks left, how much time do we have? Can I see that? I guess this one is using it at a rate of 1.6 per minute. Oh no, it's this is total. So total is 1.6 per minute. So I have like two and a half minutes before they're just, I don't know, upset with me or dying or something. Not great, not great. So I'm gonna I'm gonna save this ship right here and then I will pull the colonists out of this camp in this slot. Let me just make sure I can. Yep, I can I can fit everybody on. So We'll pull the colonists out of this camp if they start to get in uh, in trouble and, and you know, getting close to death and stuff, and then we'll do that. But the steel needs to go back over to Haven. So I need as much steel as possible before I stop their production. Uh, where is my Haven? Okay. There's also the unexplored place too. So uh, over here first, what I want to get set up, I've got some spare power and spare people. What I want to get set up first is the chip fabricator I want to make I want to make chips so we're gonna put chip fabricator like right here all right now we're gonna have a power shortage for a bit that's okay we're gonna also take and make a lot more silicon so one two that'll be enough for now uh I need steel beams right well the thing is we have silicon here right we should have silicon here we have nine of it here and there's an 18 power deficit. So I think what I can do, I, I don't have steel, but I can make solar. And so maybe we'll add like a solar farm over on this side. We'll go one, two. That doesn't quite solve it. I need more silicon. Now, thankfully, we are making them. Uh, so it's just a matter of time before we have enough in this camp to, uh, to make another one. I think it takes, what, six silicon to make this? four silicon to make it produces six energy so i only need one more solar panel and then i will have enough energy to drive that and i'll have enough people and now we can start making microchips which is what i really need to do over here i need to get at least some microchips uh so how many do we have two i, I really want to have all of the resources available up here you know i think that would be much more helpful than this this is like just very basic starter stuff and I would love to have all of them up here. I think one way to do that would be to take this little bar that's in the middle. It's kind of in the way and move it over here. Or better yet, you can make it just the circle icon next to this, like bigger. And then when I mouse over it, you could expand to have the icons show as well as this description and just like have it expand as I mouse over it or something. Because these details don't seem to change. If they do change, then okay. But they don't seem to change, and it'd be nice to have them out of the way when, it, when they're not needed. That's my opinion, though. My opinion mm, doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> All right, so there's that right there, and that's going to get me to where everything is operational here. Excellent. Okay, we got plenty of concrete. We got some potatoes. I'm going to bring some potatoes with me. I'm going to bring some water with me. All right, and uh, let's lift off and see what this unexplored place is okay but this new place is that we could be using to get some crude oil hopefully all right so interesting area what is something living what is this left click oh yeah specimen for uh research points wow these animals were huge with a proper archaeological dig we can find out more about the life that once walked this planet. Could you set up a research lab nearby that will provide us with scientists with proper tools? Yeah, I'll build the research lab. Great. Uh, I just need, you know, computer chips to do that. Uh, okay, so this is an awesome looking base. But remember, we're here for crude oil. I'm not sure where we're going to get that. Uh, probably with the bones, right? It's, it's fossil fuels for a reason. Uh, let's go ahead and put this down. Uh, I kind of want to put it down like right over by the skeletons, though. But then it doesn't give me a whole lot of area to to build I guess there is a lot of area to build isn't there quite a bit well I'm gonna put it right over here I think it's close to close to the skeletons and stuff and then for the ship let's put that 
Oh man, the sand dunes and stuff though. That's gonna make designing a little bit more challenging. I should have put it over here. I think. Can I? Can I move it? Move the camera. I don't think I can move it. No, I don't think I can. Uh, how do I build the? Can I still build the launch the landing pad? Landing pad? How do I build the landing pad? <laughs> Wait a minute, I right clicked. How do I build the landing pad? Build landing pad to ships. There it is. Okay. So, uh, I will just set this down like right over next to it. I guess it's fine. All right. This site is much less hospitable than Haven. We'll have to move water and food to the site if anyone is to live here. Well, there's water, there's food, and I could put people, but I'm not going to yet because I just saw a notice that says people are not happy somewhere or colonists don't have what they need. So that's probably Outland and they don't have this. All right, without health drinks, a colonist will die of thirst in 66 seconds. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, so we're going to bring the steel. There's 25 steel here. And uh, I don't think I have much choice. I'm going to have to bring all the colonists into the ship if I want to save them. Because they're going to die in less than a minute. Now, that being said, uh, if they can make a little bit more steel... In that time, that'd be great. There you go. There you go. So 26 steel total. I think that's probably acceptable. All right. So we're going to go ahead and save you guys now. Uh, this is uh, 25 seconds. Can I get just one more steel out of you in 25 seconds? Just one. Uh, I don't think so. That bar's filling up. I mean, it's filling, but I don't think it's going to matter. I don't think it's going to make it 25 seconds. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five. No, no chance. All right, pull these guys out. So we're going to pull them out of the camp and then that way they don't die. Cause it looks to me like they survive in the cargo ship without their required resources. That's what it looks like. So we're going to keep them in the cargo ship and uh, they're going back to the Ark right now, but they're still in the ship, which is cool. The Ark actually has some steel too. So we're going to take all the steel with me Oh, that's very nice. Yes, take all the steel with me. And we are going to take all of these guys over to the graveyard for now. Okay. Oil is a cheap way to power our colonies and grow the algae to feed our crew. We can use it to make plastics. Yes, we could. Fresh air from an oxygen bottling plant would be much appreciated by all those still in space. Oh my gosh, it's like... The, the Lorax. No. Bottled air. Uh, to construct these buildings, uh, we need more steel beams. That's not Lorax. Did I mess that up? No, the Lorax is the one with the... With, like, the, the Sneed cutting down all the trees and all that stuff, right? There was another one that's very similar to that, though, I thought. That had, a, had to do with, like, bottled air. Maybe it was the same movie as The Little Short Dude. I don't remember. Man, it's been a while since I've seen that, but I think you guys probably, some of you guys probably know what I'm talking about here. Uh, to construct these buildings, we'll need more steel beams. We already located a, a source of iron ore on the first moon of Planet X. Mm-hmm. Where we can recycle some of the empty cryopods. Oh, that's, that's true too. I've been doing that. Okay, so here's our steel. Here's some colonists. Let's get our, get you out of the way bring you down i want to put concrete here and steel here all right we have i think the building blocks necessary to start building what we can do over here so let's see first how do i get my crude oil right here an oil jack so operating cost will be two energy and four colonists I'm gonna get two two crude oil every minute i want a whole bunch of these man so uh i think the windmill will still work here wind turbines will still work here Let's get a power facility, a set of power facilities set up over here on this side. And we can start with four of these for now, I think. It's a little off center, isn't it? It's got this uh, weird little jitteriness that happens with it when you try to place it sometimes. There you go. All right. So 32 power is what we've got. All right. We're going to work with 32 power. Uh, we, all, we have 24 steel beams remaining. All right. So I think, yeah, the first facilities I want to get running with are the oil jacks and man i'm gonna need i want one of those storage unit things but we'll start the oil jacks over here one 
two, three, four, five. Unintentionally, we're going to stagger them. It looks actually fine to do this. Yeah, it looks fine. Let them be staggered. It's cool. Uh, then we need pioneer camps as well. So we'll have people living over here near the near the creature. One, two, three, four. Uh, that is it. But that should be enough for us to have the colonists. So if I unload the colonists now in here, all right, they are now going to work these oil jacks. And now we're able to get crude oil. Okay. Now this site, it doesn't let us pump water here. It says this site lacks the required water resource. So we won't be able to get water here. And likewise, I would think we wouldn't be able to get potatoes, but sure enough, does look like it's going to let me do potato farms here. Uh, so that's interesting. I'd like to put them over here, but I need that storage. I need that storage thing. Um, let's put you over here. Stick this. Actually, let's just lift you off. And then you are going to go and just add a couple more colonists here just to keep us over that limit for a second. And then here's the crude oil. And we need this, of course, again, to... to uh, work the algae and stuff to get our health drinks. So if I come back over here, you have nothing. Yeah, you need to go mm, back to Haven, I think. Yeah, you need to go back to Haven. So we're going to, we got three, like already. So early in the game, we got three locations that each of them have their own, like really important contribution to be made, right? There's the computer chips. 13 of them feels great, man. Let's bring some concrete so we can uh, construct things more over there. And I'm going to bring a little bit more water with me, I think, too. Since we can't make it ourselves over there, we'll want to get as much of it over here as possible. So we'll bring all this. Yeah, there we go. 15 of them. All right, lift off. And then bring these computer chips back over to Graveyard. I wonder if we can rename these camps. I mean, I know there's a narrative to this. There's, this is a story-driven thing. We just haven't quite gotten into the story yet. Not of my own fault. I think it's just the way it is. We're just not quite there yet. Um, but it's, uh, let's fill this in, fill their water up. Good. And then let's dump all the computer chips in here too. Uh, I want first and foremost to have this storage depot. Oh, steel beams are needed. Steel beams are needed. That's lame. So, 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 so lame. Ah, uh, okay. Well, what else can we build? Crude oil can give energy, and then we don't need all the solar panels. But, I mean, come on now. I'm fine with wind. The wind is completely fine. We're good. Um, Yeah, the steel beams are required for the research lab as well. Darn. All right. Well, we can at least spend a little bit of plastic and get this place ready for even more colonists later. So we'll do that. So we can definitely afford a lot more colonists to be over here. I'm just worried about their survivability. So let's take this ship down and we're going to give this place just a few more people because we do want to build things here, but it's pretty damn important that I get the, uh, the sports drinks and stuff, those, those health drinks. I need them. So I'm thinking we take the crude oil, the water and the concrete. Let's take all this crude oil and this ship will lift off and take that crude oil back to Outland for a second. So let's bring it all the way back to where that is. Where is it? Wait, way over here. Oh my goodness. Bring it way over here. Yeah. That's like really far away now with the way these orbits are. But I love how the orbits, like, I, I like they, you could have just had them stay put, but no. No, yeah, definitely, definitely not. It's actually pretty good. Also, somebody else noticed that there are multiple rings. I hadn't noticed this. I totally missed the fact that there was an inner ring here. Um, but they noticed that one of these rings is orbiting retrograde. And they thought that that was very weird. That not only is there two rings, but they're orbiting in different directions. And I'm told 
this is intentional. There's something to be revealed in the story about that. So, cool. I want to know. Like, the mystery is here. I want to I get that mystery going, man. All right. So, yeah, I, I could wake people up on the arc, but the thing is, I, if you don't wake them up, they don't consume resources. If you do wake them up, then they're going to consume oxygen and health drinks. So you got to be able to give them the health drinks. And that's where this oil is going to come in uh, in handy, I think. So what I need to do here is dump in the oil there. I was going to dump that in, but that's fine. I need to dump the oil there. Then what I want to do is create these algae farms, which I need steel beams to do. But I think we'll be able to get by with that if I uh, maybe tear one of these out and I can get the steel back from it. How about like... These aren't going to be steel. Uh, yeah, so I need to tear like one of these out. So maybe the iron mine temporarily. That's just concrete. Wow. Okay, so the ice grinder. We could take like one of these ice grinders away. That gives me four steel beams. We add that to the one we already have. That's five. And then the algae farm it takes eight. Hmm. I don't really want to break down that much stuff. Like breaking down both ice grinders just doesn't sound good to me. Yeah. I don't really want to break that many down, but I kind of have to. So I'll break down one of the ice grinders and one of the ice smelters. That should give me my math is terrible. That's seven. That's seven. Shit. Hmm. That's so expensive. <laughs> Why is everything so expensive? Got it. A single algae farm, eight steel beams. Uh, Tell you what we could maybe do. If we got people here to work, I wonder how long they could go without... Because we really just need them to work enough to make one piece of steel. And this is like half done, right? Production, right? So we could get these steel beams. And as soon as these guys are done making this, we drop the algae farm and then it makes the health drinks for them, right? And they're only going to consume, what was it, like 1.6 per minute? So, in theory, if I get this going, it should produce enough health drinks to just keep this base going in indefinitely, right? Two health drinks per minute is greater than 1.6. So, in theory, that should work. Uh, we'll try the theory. <laughs> so, I'm going to bring this back. Let me go over here. I'm going to bring more oil too. So I think the other ship is, well, I thought the other ship was sitting in Haven, but it looks like it maybe it's in graveyard. It is. So we're full on oil. So let's get this oil again. We're going to need to make a lot of trips. I need to get cargo and stuff going, right? And I think that's what this is. The shipyard. Construct mighty ship faring vessels. I'm wondering if there is like, if one of these is... You know, like a way to get automated stuff going. Like if you have f fuel going and like automated shipping routes and stuff. I really would like to get that going. That'd be better. Still no, still no steel beams here, which is a real drag. But I am taking a lot of oil this time because there's a whole bunch in storage here built up. And it, we are getting it really fast. I might have went a little overboard on the oil. Maybe I did. If I get rid of this, I get more steel beams. I think I'm going to get rid of two of these. Yeah. Then I get the steel beams from those instead. And I bring those with me instead. I think so. So we'll bring the steel beams. We'll bring uh, a few of these people. Let's let's get them out of here. We don't need that many. So we'll go about like this. That should be pretty good. And then uh, we'll lift off here and bring these back to outland as well so basically just gonna have these things switch yeah graveyard are running out of supplies wait what which supplies are you running out of i'm i was just there uh oh you're running out of potatoes oh i'm gl i'm glad you told me right now because i can help with that get back to haven drop down yep let's uh Give these guys the steel. Give me the potatoes. We're going to make a potato run. Back over to the other base. There we go. Back over to graveyard to drop down the potatoes. 
then go back to Haven, pick up the steel, and then go <laughs> back over to Outland. So drop off the potatoes. There you go. Uh, we can we can take the oil because they're gonna get full anyway. And then what we want to do is we'll drop the oil off over here in Haven. Maybe the uh, maybe Haven can have an algae farm too. I wonder, can Haven have an algae farm? Is that possible to do? Uh, over here let's find out uh it's it's resources right no can't do algae here i mean it's makes sense yeah it looks like the only place we can really do it is an atmosphere anyway um but i can still give this place oil and hold it for a while while i take the steel away so lift off and uh finally we're gonna send this thing over to outland all right good now the arc if i come down over here the arc has some resources on it water yeah but we need to have we need to do better on the resources here uh tell you what the other one's already coming with what i need here's 12 steel wait there's 12 steel here there's 12 steel here <laughs> what happened how do we get 12 steel on this you know what doesn't matter i found it it's late but i found it all right bring it back down baby let's go here's this give me that algae farm and we're gonna put the algae farms i think right up next to this one two i know that you don't need to but i have the steel for two so you can have the two all right good let's top off this supply and then get out of the way because there's another ship coming i don't know where that ship is but it's coming uh it's right here so when this ship lands it has the 23 colonists and then i think we probably also should get the arc going again and maybe maybe thaw some people out and yeah, we got some extra water there okay unload the steel and then unload the oil as much as we can and then the people boom now the people are going to complain but look they have an extra 120 seconds so that's interesting. Soylent is what us spacemen are made of. Uh, yeah, thanks. Okay. Uh, our colonists on Outland are running out of supplies. I know, that's the thing. But I think these guys will be able to make this stuff fast enough to where it will offset that. So as soon as they produce this, it should trigger that they have it in stock and then they shouldn't die. So right there. Now it just needs to be collected. Brought back to here, and all the exclamation points should go away. There it goes. So now this base can have its health drinks. Very good. Whew. All right. So we're going to top it off the oil here. And then uh, there's a little bit of water I guess we could give it. But otherwise, we're pretty good here. Um, we do want to get oxygen produced as well. So that we don't have to constantly ferry it. We're also not making it. So this is like the entirety of our oxygen supply, right? So let's get that going too. So to do that, I'm going to need another ice grinder and I'm going to need more colonists. I have more colonists. I thought I had more colonists, but I don't. So let's, uh, let's leave this ship here. I'm going to go, I'm going to take this one up. I'm going to leave that here. This ship, we're going to bring it back to the arc really quick. I think I am going to start. Oh, if I thought people, I have to only thaw enough to yeah if i thaw people okay I'll tell you what let's thaw people um but we need to do so and and get them into the cargo ship because while they're on the ship in here you can see they are trying to drink health drinks and they can't do it so they're gonna get mad um so every time there's a colonist thawed we need to basically get them into a cargo ship so that that doesn't happen and if we empty this entire thing out, which we should, because it's only 24 per pod, let's just hit home so we can follow this thing. Uh, yeah, actually, what can we build on this? We can build an algae farm directly on this. And then we just need to provide this ship with crude oil then. Yeah, and then it can make their own health drinks. That's pretty good. Why don't we do that? You know, we can have like a, maybe near the back. I can, I can place it right here. As soon as I get the steel, which 
shouldn't be a problem because this thing here can be broken down as soon as it's done. Honestly, the arc of running out of supplies, that's okay. So I don't believe there are any more left. Nope. We break that down. That gives us the steel. Then we take an algae farm. We pop this down. And now we just need to put crude oil on the arc. Uh, which shouldn't be a problem. We have extra oil now, right? So if I go to Outland, this has extra oil. Not much extra oil, but there is a little bit here. So 14 extra oil. We bring this over to the arc. Dump the oil here. And then we just leave four colonists on the arc. Right now there's two colonists on the arc. We'll just leave enough colonists to work all the facilities. That's six. And with six colonists on the arc and a supply of oil... Uh, and water, they should just be making the health drinks right here. So I won't need to babysit that anymore. Definitely need this empty ship to go to our base down here. Man. Actually, it looks like the icons are at the side of the screen. It looks like I can click those, can't I? Yeah, I can. Move to Haven. Okay, cool. I didn't know that those were there. Uh, I'm really happy to see that because I, I missed that initially. I'm noticing like little things, like new things in the game as we play. And I love that. I love that just like I keep discovering new things, which you might think, well, I mean, a person who's observant wouldn't have to go through that experience. And you'd be right. <laughs> but hey, I get to discover things like a child over and over again all the time. It's great. I love it. Uh, I need another ice smelter too Ooh, interesting so you're not making any water because you're not making enough ice right well i tore that stuff down that's why so i need one i need one more of these and then the ice smelter i need another one of these right like this is what i had before i had these two things up and running before and i think i want one more ice grinder even still so if i put you uh, up here this should be in range i hope that's in range I'll have to see if it's in range. Uh, now I just drop off the colonists. There we go. And now there's we're six down. Do we have computer chips? Well, we should at Haven, right? So we should now find Haven. Move to graveyard. There it is. Okay, cool. And then Haven. Perfect. So I can move around like that now. That's cool. All right. Give me some computer chips. I'm going to drop some of these off at graveyard, but there's the oil I want to bring back. And then... Let's bring a little bit of concrete and a little bit of... Oh, I can't bring four things. Man, it'd be nice to have like a ship upgrade. Maybe that's a thing we can do later. Maybe the shipyard is a thing. We can build our own ships and then they would be better better ships. <laughs> I'm just thinking out loud. I have absolutely no idea if that's how it works. But, you know, it'd be kind of cool if it was, wouldn't it? I think it would be. Let's uh, lift off here. And uh, we're going to go back to graveyard. We're going to drop off some of the microchips. And probably all the concrete if I if I need to because we're still building over here so drop off the concrete let's build here actually uh wait what oh yeah they can't store more crude oil well that's because I yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, we'll fix that um first I want to build oh, let's, microchips microchips okay now I want to build the storage depot which we don't have the steel beams I keep forgetting steel is a thing that I need for this uh, let me go get the other ship. Bring the steel over here. I'll be right back. All right. I brought the other ship over here and got the steel. So now can I make a storage depot? Very good. Uh, let's put this over here. It's going to give me more room to manufacture things on this side, which is going to be, uh, I think, really great. And uh, I would also like to bring more, more oil with me on this. So we've got a little bit of oil here. Let's go ahead and load up the oil right here. That's 40. That's pretty good. I like this. This can go. Uh, we'll actually take a few more of these microchips. Let's go with like 18. This can go back to Outland now. And we'll have this sit for another load for oil. And then we can bring the oil back to Outland from that point. So this ship goes to uh, Outland right over there. So I like that we can just click these icons. Um, I'm just going to try to do that more often. I'm try to remember to do that more often, I think. Uh, okay. So over here, we're short on power. And, of course, we don't have the steel beams anymore, but we do have solar panels, and I can set up a little bit of solar panels so that I can expand on what I've got going on over here. I would like to get anything that doesn't take steel. 
Can I build anything without steel? Oh my gosh. Nothing can be built without steel. All right. Research lab needs steel. Yep. Everything needs steel. I can do another landing pad. I can have two ships landing here now. I guess that's, that's probably pretty good. We should do that. Uh, and the shipyard takes steel. Yep. Okay. Well, Hey, at least I can make more pioneer camps. So I got, uh, three pioneer camps over here. I'm going to add another bit over there since this thing keeps getting full on concrete anyway. And, uh, we have capacity for a lot more people over here now on this one. So back on graveyard or back at the graveyard, uh, I want to get, we could do an oil refinery for some refined oil. I suppose that's pretty good because we are kind of filling up on oil constantly, you know, uh, let's put, uh, keep trying to figure out where I'm we're supposed to be with this. Let's put this back. Yeah. We'll put these two things back and then we can also get these colonists drop back off. So we're up to a plus 11 now on the colonists and we have more oil available and then let's get a refinery for that fuel or steel beams four steel beams. Okay. Back over to, <laughs> I'm never going to learn my lesson, man. All right. Uh, here fill up with oil. Very good. Fill up with silicon. Really? It's it's one. All right. I can fix that. We're going to add that solar panel that everybody wants me to add right there. Okay. Now I can get rid of this. Perfect. And now put steel in here, <laughs> drop some microchips off here. Uh, yeah, I think all of them, that's fine. And then I think that is it. I will take a little bit more actually for the oil. I'm going to bring a little bit to the arc instead. So we'll go here and then this ship should automatically go to the arc because I bet the arc is probably getting a little closer to, yeah, there's no oil left. So they can't make any more of these health drinks, but they have some still in storage. There's 10 in storage. Now you have oil. You can make it. And then this steel, this precious, precious steel, uh, I'm going to have to go back to Outland. I would love to be able to get enough people working in Outland to have like two whole cargo loads of steel on a ship and bring like 80 steel back over to that other planet. That would be amazing to have that much steel. To be able to bring that much stuff would be awesome. Uh, factories, steel. So two steel beams are needed to make another one of these. And I think I'd probably want to get another iron mine going for that as well. And then this, this is short on colonists. Interesting. I didn't know this was short on colonists. Uh, we can wake some people up. Yeah, we can wake some people up. Uh, let's just go ahead and do that. So wake people up. We're going to take these colonists. Uh, what are they? I think they're short, like what? Six, seven. Let's take 10 over there. Take 10 over there. We're running out of oil on that ship already, man. That's quick. Got to get another oil run. My goodness. We want to build an oxygen bottling plant too. We have to supply it with plastic and like, obviously I ain't making plastic yet. I'm working on it, but I'm not, this is the other planet. I need the oil planet to make the plastic. So I think we can probably pull a little bit of this oil out. The arc's going to be hurting there for a bit. Uh, and then let's dump. Oh, I can't dump the people here. Well, I have the computer chips now, so I should be able to do this. Give me another habitat. Yeah, right there. And with that new habitat, we can then dump more people in. And now there's enough people to work all these facilities. Uh, but I, I want more facilities, so I still need more people, but it's going to have to be, uh, the way it is. Maybe I can build one more habitat. Well, I can, as soon as I get the steel beams, which are coming along nicely over here while that's working, let's move over to Haven really quick. And I want to see, no, there's no steel here yet. I can't do that. Stop, stop torturing yourself, Charlie. Just realize you can't. This is almost full of oil. Like this is very close to being just a big old full load of oil here. And I think I'm just going to wait for all these drones to deliver it. And then I'm going to fill up what I got. And then we're going to take it over to the Ark. 28. I think this is good enough. I want to go now. 
Let me go now. I'm only down by... Honestly, let's just wait to fill it up, right? Do a full load, man. Come all the way over here. Uh, the ship is in Outland. Yeah, we have steel and people. Okay. Well, they should have the steel to make the habitat now. So let's drop this habitat right there. Then you can offload these two people. And I should now be able to... There's no water here? Uh-oh. No water here. That's an issue. Can I make a storage thing? Automated depot. 16 steel beams. Of course it does. That's what I have to say about that. Of course it does. Of course it takes 16 of them. Why wouldn't it take 16 of them? All right. Well, I want to bring steel to that other camp. Damn it. So I'm not going to do that yet. We're going to bring the 16 steel. We're going to bring that 16 steel over to the other planet. So that's going to graveyard. No, it's going to Haven. And then the ship that is currently in graveyard is going to fill up on oil, a full load on oil. This oil tanker is going to the Ark. Just send it to the Ark, man. With 120 oil in tow. I'm going to park yourself. I don't care. Park yourself right there. Because this thing is going to need it. And then this isn't empty yet. But once we dock the ship, it will be. And in fact, if I wanted to, I could add... If I had the steel, I could add another habitat. To be able to have more people on here. But current supply here it looks okay so far, right? We just need crude oil and water. And then they make the health drinks faster than they consume them. So when they run out of these resources, they just, you know, they just dip into more of their health drink supply. But at least we are providing the health drinks. And so that was like a major milestone to get over was, you know, survivability in space without, well, without death. Like just having the health drinks, I think was a, a big milestone that's what i'm trying to say so we will fill up the tank with oil there we go oh yeah baby and then water is really easy to replenish because water is made on outland so we'll just drop the ship down on outland and we'll fill up the oil supply here too yeah there you go nice and full and then we should be able to make water here which i have some steel right three steel beams four steel beams let's get another ice grinder and where did i put that storage unit wait didn't i put it wait i thought i put the storage didn't i do didn't i do storage all oh, right i needed 16 that was the other place yeah yeah i need 16 steel beams for that here crap well this ice grinder is going to go down anyway we'll just it won't be in an organized place but it's going to go down anyway we're going to put it down like i guess we'll just put it down right here so it's a very compact little base, but if we're making enough ice gravel, we should be able to fully saturate this. So this will consume four ice gravel to make two water, which means we're currently consuming eight ice gravel per minute. And then this creates two ice gravel. So it is a two to one ratio on these things. So now these things should be constantly running as long as they're being provided for. Um, and then this side is again, four iron ore for two steel beams. So four iron ore a minute from this building. And each one of these is producing two iron ore. So this is also again, a two to one ratio. So everything checks out here. As far as ratios go, everything checks out here. Uh, it should be okay. We should be have a really healthy colony here now. And we honestly shouldn't have any problems. There are 24 health drinks here on this base. We should be able to pull some of them off of this base and uh send them to the other ship right should be able to do that let's, let's grab some steel so that we can build on the arc as well so we can grab a little bit of steel from this place and then we have to look at oxygen right oxygen is actually give that back we, we have to look at oxygen um and creating oxygen is like this where you take the water splitter you split water two parts hydrogen one part one part oxygen right so 
and then you test then you have oxygen by uh the hydrogen is then used to make hi uh, rocket fuel so that's what we want to do and if i do this though i'll have the steel beam soon but if i do this i have to produce an additional six water in order to provide for that and so that means i'll need an extra three of these which means i need an extra six of these which means i need an extra uh i don't know at least four of these i need a lot of people <laughs> that's what i'm saying so i should probably start by building the habitats because i'm gonna need those if i am to provide for that many people right so that's got to happen i'm gonna take a few more of these health drinks and bring them to the ark because the ark is who needs them uh arc oh he's already auto yeah, automatically going back there yeah so we'll offload the health drinks onto the arc and with that we should now be able to build i would think anyway we'd be able to build the uh habitat now where's my steel i didn't bring it back oh graveyard's running out of supplies now for real hold on why is graveyard running out of supplies what are you running out of it's another potato issue. All right. Ship on Haven. Grab potatoes. Time to fill them up. Let's drop off the steel here. And uh, we'll take a little bit of water too, as we can. Yeah, and a little bit of concrete, because why not? And let's lift off. We're going to bring those potatoes. I keep, I keep clicking wrong. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm going to get it, I swear go to the graveyard and drop off the potatoes before everybody dies there we go nobody's gonna die now and we also replenish the water supply there too all right guys this has been uh trappist part two i hope you guys have enjoyed that there's uh this game is supposed to be pretty chill you can kind of play at your own pace but my pace is always chaos so <laughs> i don't know if it's showing but hey there's a little bit of chaos in my pace here yeah uh, I just got the storage depot, so now I can start building things out this way. And that's where I wanted to start looking at what it takes to get plastic going. But it does look like I can also do wheat farming out here. It's going to consume water, which is a bad spot because you would want to do wheat farming in a location uh, where you're already able to get water going, right? And so I think that's probably a better thing. I'd love to get automated shipping routes. And I've got a feeling that's got to be coming up soon. You know, I should probably send things over to Zima. Zima looks like a really cool planet. Doesn't that look cool? We should probably scan that just to see what's over there, yeah? All right. Let's uh, let's reconvene for the next video, okay? I don't know when it's going to be. I can't, I can't dedicate you to... I can't promise for regular uploads yet on this game, but... Uh, I need to get some of my other stuff done first, right? I have, I have prior commitments and I've also started series in the background so that I could, you know, post them ahead of time or post them, record them ahead of time and post them when I'm, when I'm able to. So, uh, there's, there's already some other stuff coming that I've already like committed time to, but I definitely want to play this more. This is really fun. All right. So take care. Love your faces. Thanks for watching. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.